He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing. The answer of Jesus was, I am willing. He could also say that, I am not willing. But why Jesus say, I am willing? Because he looked on the person, the way he asked. And the message of Jesus, as we, 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 we saw here in, 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 in verse uh, 15, that repent, the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe to the good to the good news, to the, to, to the good news about what he was saying. But the way the, the, the person, this man came to him asking that if you are willing, Jesus looked and he, he, he showed that the person already received his, his, his message and he wants also to do something like a, to, to try to ask for something else. Yes, I am willing. Yes, I am willing. <laughs> Jesus first, the, the man first believed on the good news of Jesus and he went to ask. And Jesus realized that this, this man is already has the, 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 the when you believe, <coughs> and, 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 as the book, the, the book of John is telling us, if you believe, you, you are saved. God so long, we, we, we can just read it to, to understand it well. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So Jesus, when he saw that the, the, the person, the way he asked, Jesus realized that this man already believed in what I, 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 I just said them, about the word of God, about the kingdom of God. And once you believe, you are saved. Your place is already there. Your place is already there. Already there. But he went to ask for something that, for him, he already understand, he already believe to the, the to the good news. But if you put yourself in the, 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 the in the way this, this man was asking, if Jesus say no, he could not even be disappointed because the way he asked, he knew that Jesus can no. Can, can, can accept or not, but I must ask him. And Jesus, when he looked at him, he realized that this man is already received the kingdom of God. He believed to what I just told them, and he said, "Yes, I am willing." And he touched him, as we can we, 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 we can continue. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him, and he was cleaned. If you look all the miracles that Jesus was doing, people who came to him asking for miracle or for them to be healed, Jesus was telling them, "Your." Uh, your, your faith saved you. There was something that you must have faith. And nowadays we people, we have faith in what we are asking to God. Not in the word of God, of God. But here, the message of Jesus was about the kingdom of God. And this man believed not in his healing, but he believed first of all to the kingdom of God. That faith will pro 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 produce uh, will produce something that you can get whatever you want. Because Jesus saying, if you, you you have all the world, but you lose the kingdom of God, everything you have 
it, it's useless. Because you can die, yes. People use say, yes, I will give it to my children. But if your children die also, or you, you, you are still in life, people come, they just take it, or something happens in the world, you lose everything. First of all, we must believe in the kingdom of God, to the message, to the main message of Jesus. If you, you, you read the book, the, the book of, of Matthew, you will understand how Jesus was explaining about not the healing, about not the thing of the world, but about the God's kingdom. He made it in many ways, with so many parables. And we today, we must know that. It's not about your life. It's not about what you are studying for you to be a, a whatever you want. It's not about what you are looking to, to make your life happy. But it's about the kingdom of God. And if you don't believe in the kingdom of God, everything you have is just for, for nothing. You will lose it as you, you just get it. But the word of God the kingdom of God is forever. So if you are wise, first of all you will find about what is good. Because this man, first of all, he received God's kingdom. He received the message of Jesus. And he went now to ask. And the way he, he asked, if you study more, you understand that he was a person that, like, uh, you, you, you are asking but you are not sure if you can get it. But the way he asked, show us that he first of all believed in Jesus Christ, he believed in the good news of Jesus Christ, but he's asking for something that can be also used in the word of God. If you, you go at home, you, you, can, you, you go home, you can read all the, uh, all, all, all the churches and you will understand what happened to him. Jesus gave him some instruction to go to the, to, the, to, to the priest to offer a sacrifice and it was by the law of Moses. But he didn't do it. He just go outside, start to spread the good news about what happened to him. And that made Jesus could, Jesus could not even go openly to people. He, here we can understand that he was also used for other people to understand the good news of Jesus, who is about the kingdom of God. His healing became now a testimony to all everybody. He didn't go as Jesus told him to go to the priest. I think this man, he didn't know that the priest, maybe he, he, he knew that the priest was against Jesus. But if you know that, you should go to them so that they can believe. But he didn't go there to them. But he just go to everyone. As the pastor was explaining us about uh, Cornelius. Yes, Cornelius. Not only for a specific people, but for everybody. So the question is, are you praying to get the things of the world or to get to believe in the in Jesus' message? Because nowadays many people when you ask, they will tell you, yes, I receive Jesus Christ. But the way they receive Jesus is just with the lips. But when they ask them or they invite them to do something, you will not find them. But if you receive Jesus Christ, if the Spirit of Jesus is dwelling in you, when they ask you for something, you will just get up. Because you know what you believe for. You know who you are serving. You are se se serving. We are asking only to God. And we cannot get them, and we make God like a liar. And some people, they just, they say, I will anymore go to the church. 